Hi, I'm Saurabh Ganijo. I'm basically running uh, different formats in uh, same brand name called Kylin. And <clears throat> the big format is basically Kylin Premier. And we've got into small formats like Kylin Express and Kylin Experiences, which are small, uh, you know, uh, 60 to 70 seaters. In my opinion, um, as a startup, one can always look at a small format starting because that's the basic need of, uh, rest, you know, the market now because if you serve a specialized uh, cuisine uh, people come back for that and if you need to become a you know big format people are always looking for a bigger menus it's very easy to run uh, you know big formats but the food maintaining part becomes pretty difficult so when you have different cuisines one needs to be very particular with it small fam format basically is uh, you know, specialized cuisine, gourmet cuisine. So as Mr. Narayan rightly said, the consistency of uh, service, food, taste, everything has to be there. Uh, Saurabh, just to take your point on your Skyline Express versus Skyline, your bigger one. Uh, how do you, who's your consumers there and do they differentiate? Do they different? How do you see to it that you're maintaining consistency of brand and at the same time, what are your thoughts on that? And how do you do that? So basically, this is different target clientele. I mean, Express is basically tucked into food courts, high footfall areas. And in our uh, Kailin, we've always tried to upgrade our uh, client in the sense like rather than just serving Chinese or Thai, which everybody is serving, our niche has always been that we try and introduce something new to the customer. And that is why in a format like Kailin Premier, we add Tepaneki, which might not be, you know, a masses product. But at the same time, in Kailin Express, Thai curries might not be the masses product or anything to do with, you know, Asian flavors like Vietnamese dishes or Balinese uh, dishes like, uh, you know, rendang lamb or something. So this is new to the masses. So we keep upgrading the customer with the knowledge of food and different palates. So, I mean, the only route to that is basically, you know, standardizing your recipes. And uh, there should be very strong audit systems to make sure that the you know, recipes are being followed and you're, you know, putting right systems in place where, uh, you know, uh, recipes are not being altered at all. And of course, apart from setting up these standards and standard recipes and audit systems, uh, there is a skill which has to be trained continuously in your back kitchens and in your centralized kitchens, which also plays a very major role in keeping the food consistent. That doesn't mean that your chef is indispensable or something. Um, it's always good to retain the same guy because, you know, end of the day, the same hand prepares the same food. Having said that, the new change which are coming in basically work on standard recipes and they normally work the way that, you know, okay, this is the system, this is how the food comes, but primarily recipes and standardizing. Great.